His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, he's burning on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop palms. Oh. oh yeah, um, I'm, I kind of, uh, I left the game without, she, cause she wouldn't go to sleep. But we need to eat, so. Sachiko, let me know when, let me know you're back. I'm back. I don't know why this keeps happening. Dumb. I hope, hopefully that doesn't affect the game too much when I do that. What? Where were you? Here. Oh, I, I went back to see if I could sleep. But I, I can't. She, I guess we had to make some progress before that. How does she know you're here though? She hears me? Dalin mo ako sa iyong palasyo Maglakad tayo sa hardin ng iyong kaharian Malaman akong pag-aaring Malaman akong pag-aaring Alright, alright, that's enough of that That's only a bad choice if bad choice if song is recording song what? I don't know, I think it's a bad choice of song if you're gonna use that towards someone. Why not? It's Why? It sounds so subjective. You're gonna, it sounds like you're gonna subject yourself into an endless cycle of whatever. Slavery. Yes. So well, I mean, I guess, yeah. Especially is if the woman is abusing. I mean, I guess. I don't want that. <laughs> Just let a man indulge in his fantasies, okay? Alright, so we got the library curd. And suddenly George actually answers. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match. Successful. You're good to go. Oh, uh, I'll say. Well, have a nice day, Miss Kip. Thanks, Michael Maybe I should have changed the name. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're fine. Alright. Thanks, Michael Thanks, Marky Moo. What do we have here? We got a. Uh, there's probably a door. Huh. Probably a door inside. Is there? Let's check. Nope. Kind of Wi-Fi. Nope. What's this? Trash can? Some trash spit out on the floor. Looks like an old phone. Is this where to? Excuse me. Hey. Who the heck do you think you're barging in here like that? I don't care if you're the Messiah, manners are still a thing. I'm... sorry? Well, are you here just here to apologize? Yes. I mean, no! <laughs> I mean, I need your help. I'm not sure what I need to do next. I think I need to go in the tower. Seriously? You haven't figured that one out yet? Hey, come on. Don't be too hard on her. I don't know how to get in. Well, I don't know either. Damn it. Shouldn't Sachika help you with that? All I know is that nobody from this world can get in there. Not beyond that icy entrance, I know, anyway. Oh, I just noticed that the dots are her eyes. Oh. Look at it. If anything, there might be a book on how the Messiah of all people can get in. I don't got anything like that in my collection. Would like to, though. Hey, see. Alright. My book's poking out from the shelf. On her fruitful visit from the Great Prophet today, she seemed high in spirit. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house, we did. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Ratches, ratches, rashes was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He was even very, he has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's Day today musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. Oh, it's those guys. Okay. Wait, what? The prop is. 
So Calamus's dad or parent, whatever, is the prophet. Calamus. Yeah, the the bird guys, the bird kids. Oh, they are the author. No, they're 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 no the they're prophet, dead. the great prophet. The great prophet's their dad. I guess I offered to teach him as I did his father. I mean, yeah. Another book. There's a black clover sim on the clover cover of this book. And this other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books too. Are they all about clovers? What? Of course not. That's just how the author marks his work. Oh. Because he has to keep up with his mysterious persona, I guess. He's never even told me his name. Wait, so you wrote all of these books? <sighs> yes, he did. Everything that I ever helped him publish is here. What, you want to read them or something? Yeah. Yeah? Well, what are you waiting for? Alright. I'm back his book out from the shelf. Ah, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Ooh. Wednesday. What is... Is that a date? Okay. I know still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the object at least. Ooh, Silver. Uh, Thursday. Various sketches practice. Okay. A book is poking out from the shelf. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in a metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without it competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossil... Um, suggest that these plants may be the first forms to colonize life forms to colonize our world. Hmm. Who knew that clovers are like that? So, from what we can take of this, the author and the great prophet knew each other. I'm not just out from the shelf. Oh, there we go. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some modifications of the external design. More importantly, we use a radically different architecture from the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that teaming was a lost cause. Oh. So this guy is supposed to relay the message of the, uh, the great prophet. Okay, I mean, I guess, I mean, I think he did mention that before. Alright. Interesting. Ah, there's a bed. Now we have a bed here. Stack of blank papers. A muck on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability of ro the rolling dice. Recently, I found the theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still worked to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? What? Wait, we encountered the two. What? I mean, there, what do you mean by there are six? There are th six George. George's? What is that? We encounter, what? We the Bookworm, what does that mean? Book. What does this mean? You... Can I access my... Oh, there we go. Achievements. <laughs> Achievements. What did I get? Oh, great. Nah, never mind. Alright, um, never later. Mind. That's not important. <laughs> nice. I'm proud of this. Um. Well, since you're already here, it'd be rude for me to tell you to leave. Do you uh, got any questions about books? Yeah. Or you can read something here. I don't care. Just don't make a mess. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. At least she knows what computers and printers are. Yeah, it's in here. Can I go there? No. Yeah. Yeah, and the painting is books. Everything I help in him publish is here. What? Oh, okay, she said that. Is there anything in the fridge? What's cooking? Fridge just fill bottom one and take out boxes. Alright. Guess we're gonna go to sleep then. And this will close the game for a bit. I don't think this is a good time for a nap, Sachiko. Oh, all right. You don't want a nap? Okay, I, I'm so we're so we're looking for a book, right? That should help us. 
we don't know. That's what books look like before they get published, kid. Oh. I see. Do you help them publish books? Well, duh. Why do you think I have literal mounds of manuscripts here? He just wouldn't stop sending me things. Like, man, oh man, does that guy work fast. I just couldn't keep up. One day, he just stopped. About time, I would say. But it's also weird since it's him. But worst part of all, even after he stopped bombarding me, the piles of material I have on hand never seem to get any smaller. It's like the boxes are magically filling themselves back up every time I turn around! What is even happening? Are you okay? No! <laughs> oh. Don't touch that! I have to finish this by the end of the week! Oh, sorry. People are literally lying up to read his books! Huh? What does he write about? What doesn't he write about? Hey, George, I just read about the entire universe while you were taking a coffee break. That's several million volumes! Why does that guy get all that free time? What? 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 Okay. <laughs> I love this character. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Five. Five. Is there? Isn't there anything we're supposed to do here? Oh wait, maybe we can give this strange journal thing. Oh, I have this book. I think it's written in some sort of words that I don't recognize. Oh, let me see. Huh. Of course. Of course! Um... More work for George, fine. <laughs> hey, uh... Kid. Nico! Looks like I'm gonna have to translate this for you. Might take a while. Alright. <sighs> Excuse me. I know that feel, kid. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. <sighs> That's not good. You know what? I have a guest room in the attic down the hall, which we just checked. Go take a nap. Just look at you getting tired is making me tired. Alright, thanks, I guess. Whoop 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 doop 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 doop. <laughs> I'm not tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure. And then immediately wake her up right after. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Ah, that's cute. What's that? Whoa, what? Oh, 